okay now let's look at a uh, different service at this point we're going to look at elastic map reduce uh, framework that is provided by um, amazon cloud services so let's just you know deep dive a little bit into it so as soon as you go into the service it again takes you through a wizard um, basically what what this does is um, it, it gives you a sort of job in which you can supply your input parameters input parameters can be your data the data that you want to pass into your map reduce programs of course your program is also an input and then output is what your program produces so it's a pretty streamlined stuff at this point and then it as as i mentioned all of these services do provide an api for you so you could actually access this via java or command line or uh, something like that now um, i'll not be deep diving into you know how to use this into uh, using api but actually it's very simple you could go ahead and download the sdk so if you're using the command prompt go ahead and download the sdk and if you're using a windows operating system um, you know you, you you have to just install the sdk and then um, you need to provide a json file to it which basically has your secret keys your password and stuff and that's how it authenticates you once you have done that then you know you can just run your normal commands uh, you can just type in help and see what commands it provides but regardless of that uh, you know the basic stuff is you can deploy a job you can create a job you can kill a job and all those uh, basic stuff so we are going to go ahead and create a job job flow and i'm going to call this job flow as my first uh, map ready something like that now there are different versions of hadoop I'm going to just stick to the default version and then I can either run my own application or it provides some sample application for us. We will look at running our own application maybe later on, but I'm going to just, uh, you know, run a sample application to just show you how the service works. Now we'll look at, you know, pig scripts and um, hive scripts and so on and so forth when we actually cover that. Uh, for now, I'm going to use a word count example. This is like the hello world for Hadoop. Uh, as the name suggests, you you supply in a paragraph or a set of text documents, and it basically counts the words. Now we we'll, we we'll look at a typical program. We'll go into the deeper logic of how the word count example works, how the map reduce um, kind of uh, you know uses the different stages of mapping reducing and so on and so forth between uh, using different machines. For now, let's just keep it very simple. Let's just provide the inputs to the job and see how, how is the output. So I'm gonna click on continue and it does ask me a couple of questions. One is of course, I need to provide a output location, typically my bucket name. So let's see, I have created something called as Let's see, bd underscore storage one. I hope this is the correct way of naming it, but in any case, and it does have a Python program, the word splitter program, uh, that's the mapper. Uh, we're going to leave everything as it is. Now, input location is map reduce sample. So it, it okay. Now in this case, it already has a couple of um, inputs if you want to provide your own input go ahead and just upload it in uh, the amazon uh, s3 and provide the path for it so i'm just sticking with what it what it is providing for default and all i have done is uh, just given an output path for it once this is done it asks me like you know what kind of instances do you need again the same typical questions i'm going to stick with a small instance so that i'm under the free tire i'm going to say give me at least three instances so it's going to give me one master and two slaves kind of a thing. Once this is done, then, um, you know, you could go ahead and configure the other stuff like uh, the EC2 key pair and stuff. I'm going to just um, select the one that I just created. Um, and, and this is the same process in which I showed you in, in two or three videos before that, you know, you click on the create a key value pair and store it on your machine. And that gets recorded in this uh, drop down. You could go also go ahead and give a log path. So let me see. Let me just copy this. 
and my log path I'm going to just modify this a little bit okay now this is done and I believe this should finish off let's see okay we are all set you see that the input location is this one the output is what we specified now one thing to remember is the output location should not exist like the word count folder should not exist otherwise it's going to throw an error right and then we see that there is one master instance and it's going to spin off three slave instances so essentially it's going to spin off four machines for you all right now to create the job to close this oops okay now if I let's see okay oh it's showing me invalid bucket name only lowercase letters okay now I believe I kind of um, you know did not follow the naming conventions let me just pause this and try this okay so all I have done right now is just change the bucket name from BD underscore storage to BD storage and let's see how this works so if you click on this it gives you the steps that is going to perform now if you look at this one like the args over here the arguments this is what you would even pass if you are using your command prompt like using apis so uh, this generally takes about four to five minutes and if we go to our ec2 the one that we just talked about it should start spinning off a couple of instances soon Okay, let's see, let's refresh this one. Okay, you see that the state has changed to provision uh, Amazon EC2. Now if we go to our EC2 and click on refresh, you'll see a couple of VMs getting generated. In a minute or two maybe, let's see. Okay. So these are the two terminated ones that we used for last video. And these are the three instances that is getting generated at this point. So you see that the first one is a slave. Second one is a slave. Third one is also a slave. So still there is one more machine pending and that would be the master. Um, just bear with me for now and we'll, we'll look at how a map reduce actually works. Like, you know, we'll, we'll look at how how it gets, how it splits the data into different nodes or to different slaves and how it aggregates the data and gives it back to you. Now we'll, we'll have a complete video over that. So, you know, you'll appreciate how this works uh, even more better. So for, for now, just, um, just assume that the sample map reduce program just takes the in whatever was the input file and then just counts the number of words and gives it to you. Okay, you see that there is a fourth instance coming and that's the master. So this will take about two to three minutes to complete. And after that we can see. Let's also have a look at the BD storage. I'm, I believe this should be empty. Yes, you'll see a couple of folders getting created over here. Okay, we see that three of the machines have uh, finished their task. I believe uh, the master is still running. Let me just, quickly check the buckets still nothing let's refresh this one and it's still running so I'm guessing that you know it will it'll complete in a minute or two okay so I hope it should have uh, finished by now let me just click on refresh okay now if I go to my job okay it has finished it's completed and let me go to my Amazon buckets and here I should be seeing the output we created output date folder and we see that um, you know there are about five files that is created these are the outputs let's just examine one of them Oops. Okay. <clears throat> Let's 
just use notepad and you see that you know there is the word and the number of times the word has occurred in the particular paragraph that we supplied in so <clears throat> this is you know a very basic example uh, we'll of course have a look at how these um, you know things get generated or how the program works but this is the output that we expected you supply in a paragraph and this just gets a unique list of all the words and then kind of gives you the number of times it has occurred in the entire paragraph so let me just close this okay so this was the output and of course i believe we didn't give a folder name so the log files got stored over here so these are the log the log path that we gave it so yeah that was it that was a simple map reduce program that we created so what we did was we created a map reduce job we used in the default word count example uh, provided the default input files and we saw how we get the output so in the next step what we'll do is we will set up a hadoop environment locally we'll use centos and then we'll deep dive into creating you know your first map reduce word count program and not using the sample ones that we provided and then we'll supply in some custom paragraphs that we make and we'll see if we get the same outputs okay so that was it on this one